everybody, Strangelove here, and I've got a brief little snippet of some Crisis 3 multiplayer, and I know what you're probably thinking. What's going on here? Strangelove, why are you teabagging these guys every time you kill them? Are you just really mean? Do you have some insatiable craving for a spot of tea? No, 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 not quite. In this round, Marco and I, we were trying to get the afternoon tea dog tag, and it's really simple. All you have to do is teabag 10 victims, and that's all it says. And that was pretty awesome. I was like, we can do this. We could do this in one round. Let's let's go do it. So um, every time I would try to kill somebody, I'd run over and attempt to teabag them without, you know, getting killed. And more often than not, I would get shot by somebody who's probably just watching me teabag their friend on their team. Uh, but it was actually really funny. I wasn't trying to really, um, you know, win or get a high score or anything like that. I was just trying to get this dog tag achievement for teabagging 10 victims. And it doesn't say whether you had to kill the victim or not. So um, I think actually one of the teabags that I did that counted was an assist that I got for a kill. But I ran up and still teabagged the dead body and I think that actually counted. Um, and then I just got a couple more kills during the round where I didn't get a chance to run over and teabag the enemy. Or taco bag if you will because I am a female. Okay, you guys got that. So anyway, I wanted to show this to you guys because it was really funny uh, running around trying to teabag people and it would be even more fun if you had an entire team just teabagging victims every time you kill them. Um, I think it would be a huge distraction for the other team and it's just really fun to do in general. And if you listen really carefully, you can hear Mr. Normal in the background laughing because we were just cracking up trying to get all of our teabags in and we didn't know if we were supposed to hump up and down once or twice or whatever so we just were really thorough with our teabags whenever we would do them and it's just really funny to see. So if you've got, um, you know, a hankering for some tea, go ahead and start teabagging your enemies in Crisis 3 and you will get the nifty little afternoon tea dog tag, which is just a little teapot. And I believe this dog tag was also in Crisis 2, so you might already be familiar with this challenge. But I would like to commend Crisis 3 for adding some unique elements to their multiplayer that keep the gameplay fun and interesting. Things like the funny dog tag achievements or other challenges for your modules or your weapons. And um, it keeps you on your toes and I'm having a whole lot of fun playing the Crisis 3 multiplayer and I hope you are too. Now this is what the afternoon tea dog tag looks like. It's just a simple little teapot, but I definitely wear it with pride and it was a lot of fun trying to get it. You don't have to do all the teabagging in one round. You can get this over a span of however many games it takes you. Uh, but anyway, have fun out there making tea out of your victims, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, this is Strangelove, signing out. I can't believe it actually, like, recognizes that you're teabagging people. That is funny.